This episode from the Cup Paper Studio is a tutorial on making your own paper leaf. I'll show you how to do sculpting with vellum. It's really easy and you don't even need drawing skills. I'm Wendy Bale. This is Monday Movie number 79. In parts one and two, I showed you the inspiration and creation of this paper sculpture of a North American beaver. The leaf element was super fun, so I thought you might like to try this. Here's the supply list, but I'll put it in the video description too. One other handy thing is a self-healing cutting mat if you plan on using a knife. By using archival papers and adhesive, your paper leaf will outlast the real leaf, which is destined to fade away with time. You don't need to know how to draw for this project, because we'll use a real leaf as our guide. But if you'd rather go rogue and design your own leaf, go for it. I used a dried leaf, but a fresh one works too. I made a photocopy to work from. Vein side down will give you the most detail. Use a scrap piece of foam core to press against and an embossing stylus or a dead pen. Trace around the main details of the leaf looking through the translucent vellum for guidance. Just get the outline and the veins. I'll switch to black foam core to better see the embossments. Examine your real leaf for inspiration. The vascular system of this one reminds me of little circles, so that's the marks I plan to make. You can choose another mark making technique. Everyone has a unique style, so go with what feels natural to you. The idea is to fill the leaf with texture. Here I'll slow down so you can see better. This embossed texture will start transforming the flat piece of paper into a leaf. Next go around the outside edge to redefine it. You can already see it jumping to life. I use assorted mulberry papers to add color. The palette is up to you, whatever papers you have handy. Even basic white looks really elegant. I'm going with warm neutrals to coordinate with my beaver sculpture. The patterned papers add to the speckly look. Using a glue stick, this one's Elmer's, I start tearing bits of paper to fill in the back side of the leaf. Edges are really important. I'm using a cut edge here to help define the vein. The overlapping parts will appear darker with this particular paper. If you're using white, they will appear lighter. Build up the color until it's all filled in. Don't worry about being exact. The outside edge will get cut off anyway. Carefully cut around the edge of the leaf, making as much detail into the cuts as possible. You can use scissors if you prefer, but I like the control of the knife. Mm -hmm. 
Going back to the foam core, re-emphasize the veins and the other details. Finally, using your thumbs, start to push the flat leaf into a more natural shape. stem for my leaf and mounted it on the mat. I hope you'll give this a try. Let me see the results if you do. Here are some examples of using the same technique for flowers and insects. I'm Wendy Bale, a visual artist and storyteller in Western New York. You can find my work on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and at wendybaleartfirst.com.